Hey folks, Jim Hannon here from Golden Stars. Back at our favorite site and set up for the day. Beautiful day. Um, no wind. Not too, too hot back under these trees. It's really nice. Only problem I am having is with uh, the, the, the level of the stream has really dropped somewhat. I've got a bucket right now blocking the flow of the gold trap. Um, and if you notice, I have a, a pan in front of the trap here today, which I don't generally do, but it's just that the water flow is so slow that I'm afraid if the, uh, well, I can see the pipe's pretty good from here, so it doesn't look like it did, but I was a little afraid of maybe the trap uh, packing up. Uh, so I just put that there as a safety you didn't check, but I, I can see from here, uh, you can probably see it, you can see there. You can see the pipes there in the gold trap. So it's working fine. Um, nice day. Uh, small amount of gold so far, but we're having a great time. We'll check in with you a little bit later and let you know how we're doing. Okay, guys. Uh, Jim Hannon back from Golden Stars. And there is my take for the day. And it kind of looked kind of puny, but uh, notice that one piece... Uh, on the, to the upper left, uh, over top of the dime there, that, that, that's a nice piece. That's, that's close to a picker. Uh, um, you can see there's quite a bit of small stuff in there. Uh, not an awful lot, but uh, hey, it's more gold than uh, I went over there with, so I'm happy with that. Uh, had a real nice day, and uh, got, a, got a couple more coming up, so we'll update you as we go along. Take care, guys. Okay, guys, Jim Hannon here from Golden Stars back again. A uh, little later start. Uh, we had thunder showers went through last night. Actually, it raised the creek uh, oh, a good couple inches, and this uh, gold trap is running great. I just want to show you something. I think I've done this before, but I've classified this material. Watch how it goes through Joe's Green Mountain gold trap. I don't have to do anything. I put the shovel in there and do a little moving around. Water takes it off. And watch it down there at the end. Completely clears on its own. And it's a pain in the neck to classify. But boy, it makes the uh, running this trap really nice. And I'm small stuff so far, but we'll see how it goes a little later on. Okay, guys. Uh, the end of another day. Uh, this is the hole I've been working. Uh, actually, for the last two or three times anyway, started back underneath that rock, come out into here, crossed here, and I'm getting into some really deep, deep clay material there. Um, last uh, two loads, bucket loads, run through the Green Mountain Gold Trap. Uh, I was hoping for some bigger gold. I got a bunch of small stuff but nothing too big um, and that was after I moved this big rock uh, from the bottom of the hole I hit it and uh, actually with my bad back I was actually able to get it out myself uh, surprisingly and over here is that one that Terry got out for me from the center of the earth mining he's down there finishing up for the day he's down there you can see him down there he's finishing up his final one for the day and there's another big boulder over there, that blackish one that Terry got out for me. But uh, I still have some hopes for this area right in through here. There's some, I hit some real good, good material. I was expecting a little more out of that last run, but uh, a lot of small stuff, nothing really big. So we'll talk to you a little later. Well, good morning, guys. Uh, final day, final full day of our trip. Uh, I got a couple changes going I'm in the same location and that is the hole I was working and it was starting to kind of run dry on me I was just getting some small very small stuff so I moved up and I'm working this location right here um, this area right in just in here there's a nice waterfall type situation that occurs during high rain and high water, and when the water recedes, you can see it runs down and into here and into this pool. Uh, kind of the same thing I had in my first place. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, 
I did a test pan real quick or a test pat. Well, actually, it was a quarter of a bucket last night before we left. And I got two nice pieces and uh, a bunch of small stuff. So got some high hopes for this little spot. Don't know how long it'll last. It's not that big. Uh, there's plenty of spots we can check upstream later if I have to. So we'll check in later and uh, let you know how we're making out from this new location. Alright guys, here here's the final take from the entire trip. Um, actually, uh, pretty good for me for the amount of material that I moved compared to my son of Terry, Terry, uh, center of the earth mining. Um, got a nice little batch of gold here. Um, quite happy with it. Um, I'm already worked two, actually fairly small areas, small holes, and. Uh, uh, got some pretty good color here. So, good trip. Nice gold. Can't beat it. Catch you later, guys.